Welcome to my channel again. Today we are going to talk about a very important topic and as you can see the topic is about sustainability. What is sustainability? Sometimes we find it hard to explain this to kids but talking about sustainability with kids like you know it is incredibly important to do. However it can be really tricky to know where to start. First, we need to help our kids understand what sustainability is. While a broad concept, sustainability basically boils down to understanding the impact that we have on the earth and what we leave for future generations. It means like maintaining uh, the capacity of earth, ongoing capacity to maintain life. This is what we are doing by teaching them about some sustainability. This is what sustainability is about. Um, we know that sustainability can encompass a number of things from recycling to gardening and in being resourceful with products and items that we use. We can teach these to our children through hands-on activities and by involving them in acting sustainability as well. So sustainability, basically, if you are teaching them about, about recycling, like that is a sustainability, sustainable practice, we are not recycling like we don't have a recycling facility at home, but we are actually contributing to that process. The procedure, it requires everybody, literally every individual on the earth, to sort out the rubbish. By teaching our kids that don't throw everything in the rubbish bin. If you want to recycle, say, a coffee cup, just take the lid off and rinse the bottle or the coffee cup and chuck it into the recycling bin, the bin with the yellow lid. Then what else can go in that bin? Well, we have to tell and teach our kids about that. What is sustainability again? I have, this is a lovely website that I would recommend you all, all the educators to have a read at because this explains everything. There is your, no universally agreed definition of sustainability. In fact, there are many different viewpoints on this concept. However, Sustainable is an adjective or something that is able to be sustained, something that is bearable and capable of being continued at a certain level. This is what sustainability means. Some activities that I would suggest are, for example, giving kids, if they are interested in art and craft, you can make them, uh, give them some um, empty baskets, empty baskets that we go to, sometimes when we go to cinema, we buy popcorns and big baskets. Those baskets can be used as bins, recycling bin and rubbish bin. And then make them search online. Look for the do's and don'ts. By do's and don'ts, I mean what would go into the rubbish bin and what would go into the recycling bin. We have to teach our kids that thing. That's very important. Then here I have already opened a few tapes for you where you can 20 activities for kids to learn about sustainability. Simply type it in the Google and you will know recycle. Recycling bins, make them do recycling bins. Then pick up trash. Make them go outside with you on a walk, on a green walk rather, and point to the rubbish on the ground and say, look, if the birds eat this, they would die. Oh my God, where does all this rubbish go that we put in the rubbish bin? Does this go into the landfill or in the sea? And if the plastic birds or sea life, they eat plastic, they would die. That's not good for environment. We got to be considerate of those. They they are part of this universe as well. We have to support their living beings, their lives as well. Sort the garbage. Now we have to teach them how to sort the garbage. For example, if you have a pizza box and there is some pizza left in it, so take the pizza out, pack it in the rubbish bin, and the pizza box, you have to flatten it first, and then you can put it into the uh, green bin, the recycling bin. Then you can plant a garden, like you can water the plants, you can um, plant a seed and all that, and you can enjoy doing that. Or maybe you can uh, reuse item for crops, just as I say, you can use um, uh, robots by egg cartons. That would be so much fun. By reusing those egg cartons, you are actually saving the environment because you are engaging in a fun activity while making sure you are not buying more plastic use it, plastic uh, toys or things like that you should be playing outside yes this is also being sustainable by playing outside you can go and actually like appreciate the nature you can actually uh, contribute to the emotional well-being of yours and others you can get physically healthy 
and this is what we need this art need physical physically and mentally healthy human beings so yes this is all you can do another thing that i wanted you all to know is there are some just as i said do's and don't but how would i know you can ask that what things to go in and what you hear i have another website for you already yoga tubs rinse it remove it put in the yellow bin separately local papers only recycle the paper plastic goes to the red cycle so this have a good read of it and teach the kids show them and encourage them to read the small kids who can't read you read these things to them and teach them how and what to do or maybe you can write the names for example coffee cups write it down on a small sheet and glue it on the rubbish on the yellow bin and they would know that they have to they have to chuck those coffee cups into that yellow bin and this is how we can actually teach them and build their capacity they would know what to do what what goes into the rubbish bin and what goes into the recycling bin and this is how you can do your observation your reflection and everything if you are doing uh, your goal of the week or your goal of the month is about sustainability all these activities can go a long way in helping you write your observation and portfolios now a bit about uh, exactly how i would do that how i would write that so here i would take you to my website again nims family day care look at this activity i am happy to give you this uh, making recycling and rubbish bins observation david sema oscar of course they are just meta things and jamie are playing with papers and scissors i looked at them and asked if they wanted to make recycling bins they said yes we would love to but we don't know how i replied i'll tell you i then gave them three popcorn baskets that i had saved for recycling activities some construction papers blue markers i showed them how to measure the size of the basket and cut and glue the construction paper around the basket to and to cover the surface then i asked them to search up the things that can be recycled and how for example coffee cups with um, without lids pizza boxes with no food in it i made them read an article the same article that i just showed you you can do that you can talk about it because everything is on the internet so you can include in your planning i made them read an article on the internet about do's and don'ts regarding recycling when they wrote the items to be recycled and how on the recycling bin uh, uh, and um, put a yellow lid on it and other one became a rubbish bin with red lid on it so reflection is this activity contributes to children's understanding about recycling and sustainability and learn about their responsibility towards environment wow yeah this is a perfect reflection i would say extension children can be taken outside on a walk in a park or neighborhood and the educator can point to the rubbish or garbage on the ground and explain how this can be dangerous for wildlife like birds this may develop the sense of responsibility and care amongst the kids this would be we call it civic sense now we come to how exactly this is like related to the outcome so outcome number 1 again i would say they feel safe and supported because we are supporting them by showing them website by giving them resources by explaining things to them by developing their knowledge and understanding so they feel supported they don't feel confused if kids feel confused it's our job to make them feel supported and give them the information they need to clear their mind outcome number 1 secondly they uh, outcome number 2 it's about outside world well, kids are connected to the world outside they learn their responsibilities rights and they learn about fairness of course it's not fair on the wildlife if we do this we human are responsible to make sure they have a good and safe life as well because they are part of universe so outcome number 2 number 4 kids become involved learners by connecting with resources and people yes this is exactly what they are doing outcome number 5 communication of course the older kids they can read from internet themselves and for to the younger kids we are reading it to them so they are developing connect communication by accessing ipads uh, laptops so they put all these materials all these things to enhance their communication and understanding and now evaluation so this activity may generate knowledge and confidence self identity outcome one in the child it can teach them how to be responsible about the environment outcome two it can boost their love for learning and contribution more to society by reading and gaining more knowledge outcome four and five and there we are so this is what we need this is your perfect i would say programming and then on the this side is playing finska just as i said playing outside is also part of sustainability yet yeah, this is how 
Oscar is playing Finska with other kids. He watched YouTube videos along with the other kids. Again, outcome number five as well, because they are accessing the technology using resources. Outcome number four as well. So everything is written for you here. Outcome number two, I would say, because I should be adding that as well. This is outcome two as well. This is an outside, uh, outside activity. So there you go. Everything is here. You can either take a screenshot or maybe you can pause the video and do your planning, but make sure you make your kids do all these activities. First, make them do these activities and then planning is done for you right here. All you have to do, just write it down, but make them do this activity and teach them how and we can um, support our art, save our environment and live a sustainable life. Sustainability is like holding up something, maintaining something, so maintaining the quality of life and capacity of earth uh, so that it can provide a quality life to future generations as well. This is what it means. So thanks a lot, everyone. I think you really like, you may have liked my session today because one of my friends, she wanted me to explain this all to her and I hope I explained it uh, according to her expectation. So if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe. And if you want me uh, to do more sessions like this, just send me an email regarding the topic that you want me to do, and I'll do another video on it. Please subscribe and watch my video. Thank you.